Okay, today we're going to learn how to put a distributor in and time it. Okay, I'm making this video for everybody, but I know Ruben needs a hand. First thing you need is you need your book covering your year. Okay, you're going to need to do it this way, but if you have your valve cover or if you don't, okay, I'm going to use a tube, insert it into cylinder number one so I know when it's coming up to cylinder number one compression instead of exhaust. Um, you don't need the compression gauges to do that. And I'm going to end up taking out the shredder valve, which you don't have to do, but I'm going to do it for other reasons. Okay, so you need that. You need a timing light. Check out that beauty. Negative, positive, and this one, the spark, actually runs through it. Okay, so we're not dealing with that. So we're going to use this. We well, also need this too for the way we're going to do it. This is actually a crank button. So nobody has to click the starter. Uh, it just makes it easy because I don't have full access to the crank pulley bolt like you're going to have Ruben. And you got a real time in here. Okay, this one does two cycle, four cycle. Um, I click it. I have attack. Plus I can do the timing. And I can advance the timing right on here. Okay, that's for cars that don't have um, a timing tape or they don't have a degreed harmonic balancer and say you're going to set your timing to 40 degrees like we do on the wagon. Um, I could just set this thing to 40 and I'll time the car right to the top that center and it's at 40 degrees. So, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a distributor. It's from an eight cylinder AMC engine. I was unable to get an HEI distributor for today at least. Um, I probably could have one tomorrow, so if there is an issue understanding it, the HEI is very similar. Okay, that's what you have, Ruben. Um, I can do another video with the HEI. This is an 8 cylinder AMC, but has all Ford components in it. Okay, this is the engine we're going to use. It's the closest thing I have to what you have, Ruben. This is a 4.2 liter or a 258 straight AMC 6. I figured since you have a 6, this is a 6. It might just be a little easier for you to grasp. Uh, Distributors at least on the same side. Obviously this cap is smaller and the coil is external. You have an HEI, much bigger cap, coils in the center. Uh, you have a control module built inside your distributor. This one has one over here. Like I said, it's a Ford Motocraft unit with an AMC label on it. Pretty reliable setup. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, just checking the specs here. I just texted Ruben to ask him if his car was a 77 or a 78. 77 250. You get 8 before, 6 before in parentheses, and a 3. 78, I just have the number 2. So I need to know that if we're going to talk about it. So let's see what the roops have said. I thought it was a 77. Okay, see that's why you check, it's a 78. 78, 6 on the 250 Chevy, there's all the stuff, electronic ignition, we know all that. Automatic transmission, where's my finger right here, we have a number 2. Number 2 is um, non-AC, non-California, they wanted 10 before. If he had AC, except for California, it was 8, California 6. So basically they wanted 10 before. That's the initial timing. It has nothing to do with mechanical or vacuum advance Ruben. That's what we're going to set it up to 10 before. Okay, they have 75 and later and up to 74. And the difference is you see two screws here for standard ignition. You see four screws here for AGI. So basically it doesn't matter where you put number one, but you put it where they say because if you have fitted wires you'll wind up having a problem. Okay, so they're showing number one here. Uh, this shown roughly the screw for the cap up against the block at cylinder one, and then they want cylinder one right here. Okay, so that's what we're going to start off, Ruben. Okay, they don't show you the vacuum vents. I was hoping on this picture they did, but they do show you the way the distributor rotates, which is the same way mine rotates. Okay, so picture this as being your distributor, Ruben. It always rotates opposite to the way the vacuum vents is pointing. Okay, because as it turns this way and you suck on the vacuum advance 
Okay, that's how you advance it. There you go. It's hard for me to do it with my finger. Hold the camera. Make sure I got light. There you go. See how it works? So if you're approaching it this way, you gotta advance it to meet it. So yours is gonna be rotating this way too. Okay. I just want to make a quick correction for anybody that picked up on it. When I ran my finger down the chart for the 78, I was on Camaro. Nova, which is right here, it's for the 78, uh, right here, turns out to be the same thing. They worded it a little different, but it's the same exact thing. They have it here as 49 states without AC. So 49 states is minus California. It's still the same 10 before. Just wanted to say that in case anybody picked up on it. Okay, we've got the crank button hooked up. Whoops, and dropped. I hooked the bat positive battery terminal. I could have went down here to the solenoid, which you could do on your car too, Ruben, but the solenoid's on the starter. Okay. I got the coil wire disconnected and grounded. Okay, the ignition's off, so I shouldn't be getting anything out of that coil, but on some cars, when you energize the solenoid, you will get power up to the coin on the car, car could fire. Most of them cars with points. And in a cold electronic ignition, if you back feed it, there's a, I'm going to say 70% chance you're going to pop the module. When you put 20, 30, 40, you'll call 50,000 volts right to a module. So it's better to be safe than sorry. And then if anything does go live, you're not going to get zapped anyway. So. We, we know a cylinder number one is, cylinder number one is right here. We're going to pull this thing out and we're going to find it on compression. Okay, on this car, I could cheat just like your car. I could look at both the rockers in there. But, uh, let's do it another way. Okay. Okay, I disconnected cylinder number one spark plug. Put my compression hose in there. And you could do this with just putting your finger over the block and cranking this by, thing by cranking this with a wrench, but we're going to speed up the process just a little bit. Just put you here for a second. Uh, can you see what I'm doing? I went to the can. Okay. Basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my finger over this tube, I guess you guys could see that. I'm going to click the key till I start to feel pressure. Because what you're looking for is you're looking for the cylinder number one to be a top dead center compression not exhaust okay if it's on exhaust there won't be any pressure so I'm gonna click it around a little bit and when I start to feel that that's when I can start to look down at my time on marks okay just now I started to get pressure now from this point on I could do it by hand I'm not sure how far up the mark is Some cars you can actually grab by the fan and turn it. The same one. Nah. So, let's see how close we can get it. I don't even need to put my hand on the tube anymore because I know it's coming up for it. So let's see where we land. You can see my numbers down there. Just got to see the mark. You can hear it coming out. Okay, we are at two degrees advanced right now. Okay, so at this point, I'm disconnecting the starter thing. So if I lean on it, with my hands down there, nothing happens. Okay, if you look down in there, let's see if we could zoom in there. Okay, come on. Hopefully it'll focus in. Maybe. Having issues. Whoop. There you go. And you can see the zero, and you can see I'm between the line and the four. Okay. Now, your car requires 10 degrees. Okay, so we don't put it at zero, we're going to put this thing at 10 degrees. So, I'm going to turn the camera off for that because I'm going to wrestle with it just a little bit. You, you could just reach down there and put a wrench on your crank. You got no nose on the car.